<laughs> you've got some <laughs> magical Christmas delights for us. Real Christmas mince pies. That's right. We, uh, you know, we're going to get into the Christmas spirit. It's getting closer to Christmas, so everyone, instead of going out and buying these, make these yourself because it's so much fun. You know, look and at all these ingredients. That's there. right, and it's about getting into the spirit of it. You know, you put on the soundtrack, you get the Christmas mince pies going. That's it. Get the kids involved. They love making this. Mm. You know, we're going to make a pastry. We're going to make the filling. We're going to jazz it up a little bit. They're, they're brilliant. And don't forget the icing sugar on top. And when you say mince pies, is there actual mince in it, or is it Christmas? Yeah, so we're mince? using lamb mince this year. Oh you know, yeah, we're in New Zealand. Mm, okay. <laughs> no, it's fruit mince. It's fruit mince. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. So it's a sweet uh, Christmas pie, mince pie. OK, well, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Well, here we are in the Beko Kitchen, and Mark, we've got a classic Christmas treat, the mince pie, which we are actually using real meat mince for, isn't it? Because sometimes they're just full of fruit, and I don't like those ones. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's got a bit of meat in it. Um, OK, let's go. Let's get cracking. Beautiful stuff for our audience. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is a sweet pie. <clears throat> sweet pie from a sweet man. <laughs> right. Oh, so what nice, you... is it? It's because of Christmas, isn't oh, yeah, it? It's that time of year, mate. I'm right, trying to so... get on Santa's good list. <laughs> okay, so what have you put in there? Right, so we've got flour in there, we've got yep. sugar in there, yep. and we've got butter in there. Okay. Right, and then you need to uh, rub that oh, together okay. and massage it. Probably not wise to wash my hands now. It'll get all wet, won't it? But is that all right? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, make sure your hands are dry. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to make a right mess. <laughs> So I'm just going to need all <laughs> yeah, of it. So to so rub it all together, get it, get it to the breadcrumb stage, and we're going to make a, a pastry here. So always a good idea, make this ahead of time, uh, pop it in the fridge, let it rest, and then we can roll it out and make our uh, pies. So I'm going to make a, a mix now. So we've got all these beautiful ingredients here. So we've got some um, mince pie mix, fruit mm -hmm. mince, so you can buy this. We'll make this yourself if you want. But it's, if you're going to make this, you know, make this sort of like, you know, a good month or so ahead of time and put lots of booze oh, okay. in it and keep adding lots more booze. Oh, nice. Um, but if you forget and you leave everything to the last minute, you know, you can just get that. But we are going to add lots more ingredients in there. How's the pastry? Well, <laughs> it's going to take a while. The butter's really hard. <laughs> this is like Tune a workout for me. see the finished mince pie. <laughs> That's right. Maybe get your pastry done in advance as well. Might be so, a good tip. So I've got some... Uh, where's the fun in that, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the kids to do this. It'll keep them quiet for hours. Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, Just make sure they've washed their hands. <laughs> right, so we've got some uh, cranberries, dried cranberries we put in there as well. Yeah. And I've got these apricots we're going to pop in. Mm-hmm. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting there. <laughs> See, this is what you've got to... You, You've got to really this, work hard. Go okay. from the bottom, sort of squash it, and bring it up, get some air in there, and a little bit faster. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Keep it in the bowl. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to miss this. This is like going. To, this is like going to jets. It's like a little workout. Well, it is, isn't it? I well, think then you just eat the pie, don't you? Well, yeah. You do all this work before, and then you can eat three pies. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to um, just chop up these apricots as well. So really nice, you know, they're sort of dried, but you know they're still quite soft. So once you bite on there, it's going to like release lots and lots of flavour. Nice work. So that goes in there, and a little bit of spice. So I've got some um, all spice here, you know. So that's smell that. That is uh, the smell of oh, Christmas. Yeah, it smells good. That is really good. So a little bit of that goes in. I've got some apple as well. I'm just going to dice some apple and some fresh ginger as well. We can grate that in or you can just um, brumwise that in to make a really fine dice. So you've got all these like fresh flavours. Are we on to the next segment yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, just a minute. Keep going. Uh, I'm getting there though. Look, yeah, it's starting to form. You know, so it's starting to all come together. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Do we have to roll it and stuff after this? Yeah. Why don't you just go to the shop and buy some? Isn't it easy? <laughs> yeah, but where's the fun in that, Mike? Uh, you know, where's the Christmas spirit oh, in there, you know? OK. Cooking's very social. It's all about bringing people together. I know, I'm so exhausted I can't conversate with you, though. I actually did a, a cooking class earlier on in the week in, uh, in Fongaray. Oh, yeah. DHB, which was really good. And we were, you know, we were getting people in the kitchen, showing them, like, really easy recipes and getting them to cook. So. Hello, uh, from Grey DHB. Yeah, nice. And uh, I'm just trying to fill in time while she make the pastry. <laughs> I think I think we're good. We're good though. Oh, no, that's good. So it's yeah. really good. So you brought it together. It's nice and smooth. Wrap it up in cling film. Pop it in the fridge. Oh, don't tell me you prepared one <laughs> earlier. <laughs> and then we'll and then we'll bring one out where you prepared earlier. Oh, oh. <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> I feel ripped off, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. We'll get the next stages to create these marvelous mince pies right after we see. Uh, no point. <laughs> What Holly is up to. Uh, mince pies. Mark, you've taken out the uh, pre-prepared...
pastry that you made earlier. It's good to show Thank people you. how yes. to do it. Yeah, no, fair enough. How much fun it is. And we've got a mixture <laughs> over here. So what have you added? So we've got allspice in there. We've got the ginger in there, the yep. apple, the mincemeat, cranberries, apricots. A little bit of brandy goes in now. Jeez, it smells so good. And a little bit of orange juice just to just get a bit of moisture there. But, you know, the fruits are going to suck that up. Right, nice. so we've got our pastry. Yep. Uh, so we're just going to roll it out. So a little bit of flour down and just sort of carefully roll it out. You know, you don't want it too thin. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do is line our tart cases. You know, so you can make small ones if you want or... <laughs> wow, this is this is a quite a nice size, isn't it? Is it is a good size. You know, so... Oh. That means I can have two at that size. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, and the good thing is too with making your mince pies traditionally this way, is that, you know, sometimes you get them in a present and you think, oh, how long is they, you know, are they alright? Uh, this way you know that they're fresh. <laughs> do you get mince pies as a present? <laughs> well, sometimes you do, and you think, how long have they been sitting, there was that last year's Christmas <laughs> present that's been re-gifted. So this way you know that they're fresh and they're delicious, and you're controlling what you're putting in them. Well, that's it, and, and uh, you know, same with all these recipes, you can add what you want, you know, if you don't like cranberries, put something else in there, you know, nice. you can put um, those beautiful dates we had on there last week, that nice. they'll be nice in there. And then, so carefully, what you want to do is, um, you know, if you've got some cutters, use a large cutter, just cut it out, and then you just sort of gently dropping it in, mm -hmm. so it goes down, and then you can use your fingers just to, you know, push it into those corners, and then okay. push it at the side of the mould. Right, okay, good. You know, like that. And then uh, you can just like Tr to just take take up. your excess off, but still yep. leave a little bit on, and then you can fill that. Okay, good. And you, I guess how full do you want them? You don't want them too full, do you? Oh, well, a little bit more. Don't be too stingy. It's okay. Christmas. <laughs> Old Scrooge munch pies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's perfect. So okay. that's really good. So you got a nice amount in there, and then same pastry, a uh, little bit of a smaller cutter. You can drop that in. So you don't want to fill it right to the top, so it's sort of the paste just dips slightly. Okay. And you can see it sort of dips in the middle, and it's coming out on the edges. And then push down those, um, the pastry on top of the other one, and then you can sort of start crimping it and really push it into the corner, seal those two bits of pastry. Nice. You know, if you've got a little bit of time, mix uh, an egg yolk with uh, some milk, which is just like a little primitive egg wash. Yes. Uh, but you can add that to both parts of the pastry, and that will just um, secure it and glue it together like a little bit more. And put a little glaze on it too. Really. Yeah, yeah, and then and then brush it, and then you just cut around like that. And then, important as well, just give it two little holes nice. in the middle. Just let the steam release. Okay. Uh, give it a glaze. Pop it in the oven. Bake it. Nice golden brown. Put it out on the tray. And Bob's your uncle. Job done. Bob's that. your uncle, and Tummy gets the pie. This is going to be nice. We need a few more than one though. So yeah, I guess crack on. <laughs> bit of work to do here. We'll get the recipe, of course. Uh, we'll put it on our website. Uh, a along with all the recipes from the last 200 episodes, you can always go back and have a look, and there are some brilliant ones there. And a huge thank you to you, Mark, for these incredible women's pies. Nice work. <laughs>